Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to the final disaster. This is Battlefield 1 and today's weapon review we're taking a close look at the Gewehr M95 Marksman Edition. We're taking a close look at its relatively peculiar unusual stats for a sniper rifle in Battlefield 1 as well as how to best use this rifle and of course when to best use this rifle. Starting off then, as we always do with the stats of the weapon in question, which are a little bit peculiar with the Gewehr M95 Marksman. They are different, to say the least, from most scope sniper rifles in the game. With a maximum damage of 90 and a minimum damage of 79, with you doing maximum damage, that is to say 90 damage all the way up to 20 meters, this does not have a sweet spot damage model as the other sniper rifles in the game do. That means there is no one shot body shot potential kill at any range. You're always going to have to go for a headshot if you want a one shot kill or assume that your target has not got full health. Now this does come with somewhat of a compensation in that it has a higher fire rate than most sniper rifles out there. That is to say I believe the highest fire rate amongst all scoped sniper rifles there are of course a number of trench and infantry variants of guns with iron sights that do have a lot higher fire rates than this but they also have different damage models and are somewhat of a different caliber of weapon to these traditional sniper rifles that we are looking at today. 66 rounds per minute you're going to be able to fire quite a lot of damage down range. What it essentially means is it is of course better suited for close quarter engagement where you can just two shot body shot your targets reliably. The Gewehr M95 comes with a worse muzzle velocity sadly than most sniper rifles in the game. That is to say most scoped sniper rifles at 620 meters per second. This is very reminiscent of Battlefield four times. This would be kind of at the lower but still average end of muzzle velocities in that game. So most of you who played that game will be relatively comfortable with this muzzle velocity if you were avid snipers there. However, there's a little bit of a problem with this muzzle velocity and we'll get into that in just a moment. We should mention here the magazine size is a standard five here, which is of course not good, but not bad. Essentially, it's pretty much average. With that being said then, and speaking of magazine sizes, let's move on to reloads, which are once more special with the Gewehr M95. Marksman. That is to say, although it is technically a single or strip clip reloaded sniper rifle, it doesn't have a magazine to say, you always reload the entire clip. That is, it doesn't matter that you have one, two, three, or four bullets left in your chamber, you're always going to reload an entire clip. What this means is that reload times are a lot easier for me to calculate. In essence, there is only one reload time independent of how many bullets you're reloading, and that is at three seconds, relatively good for a sniper rifle and makes it once more a little bit more close quarter friendly than some of the other sniper rifles that may take a little longer to reload. Furthermore, having a reliable constant reload time is a lot more predictable, and thus you'll be more familiar with it if you use this weapon on a regular basis and won't be guessing at how long it's gonna take you to reload and hoping it's gonna be finished before that next enemy rounds that corner. Now before we get into play style, strength and weaknesses, there's a few more things we should mention about the Gewehr M95 Marksman. First and foremost is that it essentially, for those of you who played Battlefield 4, comes equipped with a straight pull. For those of you who didn't or don't remember, what this means is you don't have to disengage your optic between shots to rechamber the weapon. This is unlike most other scoped sniper rifles where you will have to disengage your optic to rechamber before you can shoot again. Some of you, this is going to be a God's blessing and you'll be able to e more easily track targets. I personally have gotten used to disengaging my optic. I also like to do this because it frankly for me allows me to maintain a little bit better overview of what's going on around me. Especially for those of you who do aggressive sniping this is useful because you want to know if you're being flanked or not. On the other hand there is of course an argument for keeping your optics up. Better allowing you to track that target if it's moving and waiting to rechamber that gun. With this gun you have that option. That's certainly something that most of the other sniper rifles out there can't spot. With that being said then, something else I'd like to mention is that this sniper rifle doesn't have accuracy values beyond or worse the average sniper rifle out there. That is to say, for example, its accuracy while moving or aiming down sight while moving and hip fire is identical to weapons like the SMLE MK3 Marksman or the Gewehr 98 Sniper. This is somewhat contrary to what one would expect given that the Gewehr M95 Marksman is an obviously very aggressively geared sniper rifle and has and comes with a number of deficits that you would expect some of the stats to make up for. However, in the accuracy department, be that hip firing, be that aiming down sight and moving while shooting, 
shooting, this is not the case. With that being said, then let's get a little bit into what makes this weapon tick. If it's good, if it's bad, and when it's, of course, most ideally used. Now, frankly, obviously, this is going to be an aggressive sniper rifle. And as such, it did suit me relatively well. As those of you who followed my channel for a little longer will know, I love my aggressive sniping. And the Gewehr M95 gives me a fire rate that facilitates this as well. The muzzle velocity, of course, doesn't make too much of a difference in close quarter. However, if we're truly talking about close quarter sniper rifles, then we wouldn't be using the Gewehr. M95 Marksman. For a matter of fact, we wouldn't be using any of the scope sniper rifles. Instead, we'd be using something like the Russian 1895 Trench, which comes with a much higher fire rate and in close quarter is still capable of two shotting your enemies relatively comfortable. As such, it's a little bit of a weapon in between. It's somewhat of a normal sniper rifle. It comes with a scope and it comes with normal sniper rifle traits, a fire rate which fits in with that, but it doesn't come with the strength of having a sweet spot damage model and a good muzzle velocity, which is a big hindrance to this weapon weapon, not because the muzzle velocity necessarily is too bad to shoot moving targets. For a matter of fact, we are all capable of dealing with this in Battlefield 4, so why are we no longer capable of dealing with Battlefield 1? It's switching from some of the other sniper rifles to the Gewehr M95 that is the real difficulty. Now, I've been doing not too much sniping fairly in Battlefield 1. I do it occasionally, make a weapon review about them. I frankly find more enjoyment playing the Medic, Support class, or even the Assault class. However, when switching from some of the other sniper rifles, which I've used up to now, which all come with muscle velocity somewhere between 740, 50, all the way up to just short of 900, you do realize the difference. And what this means is, and as you probably saw in this video today, I miss a lot of leading targets. I don't lead the weapon enough or too little because I'm still trying to figure out how exactly to lead the weapon on the targets. And this is because I'm not familiar with the muzzle velocity. I gotten used to higher muzzle velocities and the Gewehr M95 Marksman suddenly sports a lower one. Now, this in no terms means the weapon is bad or you can't get good at it. It simply means that if you're going to use the Gewehr M95 Marksman, you either have to be very good at switching up between leading different sniper rifles if you play a variety of sniper rifles like I do, which is probably, however, not the best thing. The best way to go about weapons in general, come that in any shooter, is to use the same weapon again and again. And this happens to be most prevalent, most important for sniper rifles, where you have things like drop and muzzle velocity that can be unique to sniper rifles. If I were to use the Gewehr M95 Marksman for the next month or two playing Battlefield 1 and never use any of the other sniper rifles, I wouldn't find it anyhow difficult to lead any target. For a matter of fact, I would probably be able to lead 9 out of 10 targets and hit them. However, that's not the way I play personally Battlefield. I switch up weapons a lot. I have a huge variety of weapons that I have already a number of hundred kills of and don't generally gravitate to using only one or two weapons per class. That also comes down to the fact that I of course do YouTube videos and it would be boring if every single video I do was about the Selbstlader M1916, the Mondragon Sniper, the Russian 1895 Sniper, and the Bar, to name just some of the, my favorite weapons out there. As such, the lower velocity probably hinders me and my performance a little bit more than it does your average player. So my recommendation to you guys would be, if you want to use the Gewehr M95 Marksman, and it is an excellent, relatively close quarter, but still all-rounder capable sniper rifle, try to stick with it for a while if you truly want to get the best out of it because if you've learned to lead your targets relatively reliably with something like the Gewehr 98 or the Russian 1895 sniper you're suddenly going to find it relatively difficult to do with the Gewehr M95 marksman with that being said and that kind of side point out of the way the weapon overall is an excellent one to use I had a lot of fun using it and the fast fire rate is definitely noticeable when playing you feel a lot more confident going for body shots hoping to be able to put a follow-up shot down range to kill your target definitely and in practice that works works out relatively nicely, relatively often, unless of course one of your teammates, and there's usually about 10 other snipers on your team minimum, steals that kill and you only get one of those annoying assists counts as kills. With that being said, let me know down below in the comments your thoughts to the Gewehr M95 Marksman. Have you been using it a lot? How do you find it? Do you think it's a capable sniper rifle, especially given that it doesn't have a sweet spot damage model, unlike some of the other sniper rifles out there? But with all that being said, I'd like to thank you very much for watching and hope to see you in the next Battlefield 1 video. Come <laughs>